When purchasing new disc brake rotors for our bike, we need to know at least two things. What kind of diameter of the disc brake rotor we need and also what mounting system will fit the hubs that we already have on our bike. In terms of the diameter, that could for example be 140 mm or 160 mm that we use for either recre recreational mountain bikes or road bikes, gravel bikes, uh, cyclocross bikes and 180 mm and 203 mm for mountain bikes uh, in which we use much more speed and much more power. So that would be more gravity oriented, a larger diameter. It's also good to remember that, that quite often the front disc brake rotor will be larger than the rear one because there is much more braking power on the front uh, brake. In terms of the systems uh, that we need to assemble our, our rotor on our hub, there are two. This one is the Shimano patented center lock and the one here on your right is so-called 6 bolt or international standard, uh, also described as IS2000. When we are only replacing our uh, used uh, disc brakes, it's uh, very easy. You just remove the rotor from your bike and then you will see whether it's the center lock one or the 6 bolt one and what's the diameter of it. But if you, for example, have new pair of wheels, you need to look at your hubs. So, the hub that will fit your 6 bolt system will just have on the side, on the non-drive side, the 6 holes and so you'll be able to assemble your disc brake rotor on it and use 6 bolt that come with your uh, rotor when you buy it and when you look at the center lock specific hub it will look differently here and it will fit very nicely your um, your uh, rotor. Now I'm going to share also with you in a couple of minutes which one is better in my opinion and what tools we need. So I think that the center lock is better because it is more precise uh, and it takes less time to remove it or put it on your bike. So this is center lock because we are using only one lock ring and um, your uh, disc uh, rotor have no play when you put it on the, um, on the hub and also this lock ring is not uh, being used for transferring any braking power. It will only uh, lock this um, rotor into place. Now in order to do that we would either need a cassette tool for this one for example that would be the cassette tool but very often if we have a through axle which has larger diameter and uh, the, the cassette tool would, would not fit here, would not be enough place for it, then we would have another lock ring, different kind of lock ring, and we use the bottom bracket tool for that. So I think this system is uh, really good. Now as for the six bolt uh, system, uh, this one is pretty uh, popular. For this one, we would just use six bolts in order to assemble this one. And now why I don't see uh, the six bolt system as, as good as the center lock is because when you already put those six bolts you will still have play on the disc rotor because um, the braking power is being transferred through those bolts uh, and those don't fit like exactly in the hole of on the rotor. Uh, and it's actually the threads that are transferring the um, power, the braking power. So when we are assembling the rotor, we need to be smart. The rotor has the direction, so the wheel will spin this way. So we need to push uh, our rotor the other way around. So if it spins that way, I'm pushing it that way and then um, I'll be able to uh, put those bolts. And also we are threading those in, in the either cross pattern or the ev every other bolt. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we will need the Torx T25 for that. And it's a really good idea to use the 
torque range because we are not using too much force here it's just around six newton meters and if we just do it in a row and over tighten it the disc rotor will bend which is really bad uh, for our bike so remember to push it the ag against uh, the direction of, of your wheel spinning and then to do it in the cross pattern or the uh, every other uh, bolt uh, so i think center lock is just better um, in this matter now you know what's the difference between those uh, mounting systems if you have any further questions put those uh, in the comment section when you buy a new one on the at least on the shimano box you will see this logo with the digit six and six holes that means this is the international standard so that's the one here and the center lock has this logo of center lock and then you know you will have this type of mounting system here inside the box thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye